Hey, so there's a new course out here. You know, if you are looking to get up to speed at All Team Designer real fast, this is a really good PDF course. Now, this is not video training, which is better. But this is an unreleased PDF for a course that I was planning on making videos for and everything. Let me just show you what's in here. You get to see and understand all of the PCB terms in circuit text, test epoxy resin, trace tuning and everything. You know, if you're in a PCB design or want to get up to speed in PCB design and all team designer, then this is a good glossary to start off with. All right. We also show you the outline. So the you, you'll know how to create a new PCB project, renaming schematic documents, schematic template creation, placing net labels, components and libraries, and whatnot. Now, if you're working or attempting to get in an entry level role or any role, you need to know these skills at the minimum. Whatever's in this 91 page document is the minimum you need to work in any PCB role in industry. Okay. We have your libraries, your PCB layout, modifying your board shape, importing a DXF file, doing fan outs, working with properties, adding teardrops, thermal relief, design, DRCs, you know. We even have things like doing your DXF import, your manufacturing files, signal integrity analysis, you know, some simple, some sample simulation procedures, design files in Altium 365. If you haven't been seeing my videos on A365, you should check those out. But here we show you A365. That's the online environment, which is amazing. Then you have the defining high speed signals in a design, designing rules for high speed, impedance control, differential pair routing, and impedance profiling. Now, you're not going to have some full blown um, high speed project in here, but what you will get is a nice checklist of things menu or cheat sheet for what you need to click and why to get the job done. Electrical rules description, what's an unrouted net, routing rules descriptions, mask rules, just a lot of stuff in here to get you up to speed in Altium Designer for practical stuff in industry. Okay. How to do fan outs and all that stuff, JTAG, keep out areas, purchase order, see wave solder, all this stuff. All right. So go ahead, sign up. This PDF is free. It's not available for download. Okay. You sign up, you go, but you can always access it. And if you want a downloadable version, you know, I'll, I'll think about that. Maybe I'll put it at a nice low price. Let me know what you think in terms of a price for the download of this thing. This is a pretty valuable document, right? But at least you get access to it at any time just by signing up. Okay. So enrolling in the course, we have this example circuit here. If you have any questions, let me know. You know, if you do want a video course version of this, let me know as well. That would probably be free, maybe a coupon for a little while, and then eventually get to pay depending depending on how much traction and feedback I get to see if it's really worth it. All right. Now speaking on that, it's not going to take you all the way, but you know what will make you an elite hardware engineer? knowing what to do in any situation, even for boards you've never designed before. You know what it will get you to be able to work at Cisco as a PCB designer, high speed, high speed digital design, DDR three, four, five, any board, even boards you've never seen before at the highest level, the top 0.2% even. Well, okay. Let me say the top 5% minimum, maybe top, top 0.2% is like Apple hardware, iPhone system engineer. Not yet. But if you want to get top 5%, okay. Amongst any engine who's trying to become a PCB designer to be able to work at Intel doing PCB design, actually know what you're doing, not being a copy paste engineer. Who's just designing, you know, doing boards based on what you're told. And you're still not sure like what to change or whatever or why you're doing, why you're choosing that size via. Okay. Why are you using these rules of thumb? That's not enough. That's not enough to get paid the big bucks in to work in research and development. You need to master designing for manufacturing and excellence. This is what the companies are looking for. Electromagnetism, EMI, EMC, ESD, signal integrity, high speed, 
minimum than PDN, components of actually communication protocols, all that stuff. It's a lot. It's a tall order. If you want to know the exact details of breakdown, check out my video where I explain that. It's the minimum you're going to need to play in the big leagues, okay, in industry. If you want a shortcut, consider this course, this program. I, I packaged it all nicely for you, okay? You don't need this, okay, but I'm just, uh, hey, I'm going to pitch it. I'm going to pitch it. If you happen to have, you know, a ton of money lying around, okay, and you want the path laid out for you so that you can do this in three months instead of three years, okay, then here it is. But for more information, check out my videos to understand how this all works and the guarantee path to make sure you succeed as a PCB designer, okay? But in the meantime, enjoy this free resource. Have a good one, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.